Hello, my name is Alan Edmondson. I've been an orthopedic physical therapist for the last 25 years. In this DVD, I have the opportunity to share with you some of the knowledge I've gained during the practice with my patients. In this DVD, we'll be assessing different regions of the body, showing you subjective evaluation and objective evaluation testing to help you with the clients that you see every day. First, we'll start with subjective evaluation. We'll give you general questions and then specific questions for each region of the body. The second part will be objective testing, which will include range of motion, manual muscle testing, neurological testing, special testing, and palpation. An important part of any initial evaluation process is the subjective. In this part, you gather as much information as you can from the patients verbally, past and present medical history included, including their age, um, their gender, their, the type of injury, how long the injury has been present, and the location of symptoms. Next, we look at active range of motion of the joint and observing how the patient moves that joint with their own muscles. To get information of range of motion, of, of gentle strength, of the patient's ability to move the joint through space. And this is specific for each region. Then we'll look at passive range of motion in which the examiner will move the joint through space. Passive range of motion looks specifically at joint mobility testing and the end feel of that joint. When you bring a joint to its end range does it have the normal end feel specific to that joint? And is there pain involved at the end of those motions? So passive range of motion looks specifically at joint structures and stability. We'll look at strength testing, which looks at more the contractile aspect of the region. When weakness is present at a particular motion, what might be the problem causing that weakness? Is it neurological? Is it due to pain? Is it due to inflammation or instability? Then we'll look at ligamentous testing, joint stability testing at each of the areas. So I will show you how to test each ligament at each specific joint. We'll go through nerve uh, flossing assessment, nerve mobility testing, We'll go through specific neurological testing of reflexes, of sensation, of specific strength testing so that you can identify more serious problems of nerve root inflammation. Next, special testing, which is specific for each region of the body. These special tests will uh, tell us more specific information when trying to decide exactly what the problem is in our assessment. And then in conclusion, we'll finish with the palpation portion of the evaluation. Palpation will give you specific information regarding the state of the tissue, what tissue is involved, uh, the inflammation, is it in spasm, is it tight. Uh, I do this at the end because it doesn't cloud my overall assessment. If I go straight to palpation, I may miss something that is significant in another region of the body.